So far, a pretty good looking day, but uh, things will get a little messier perhaps as we go into the second half of our Thursday. In other words, just after lunchtime, that's when we see the possibility of snow moving in from the west. But again, this morning, it's a clear, chilly morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s, a couple spots low 30s, just a light breeze. That's looking live now northward with our Lewiston Auto Camera. There we are tracking on future track radar. Some snow stretching from Marshall to southwest parts of the area of the region that is down toward uh, eastern portion of South Dakota. Anyway, now all this is slowly edging its way eastward. That will bring us another chance for this. Just a minor coating of snow. That's what we had a couple of nights ago, and this is what we'll have again coming up uh, for the afternoon. Perhaps this is a picture from near Ellendale. Gabe Dolls, the picture of beautiful blue sky yesterday. Of course, you had the ice in the trees, snow on the ground, and all that pretty much melted away. We reached the low 40s yesterday, and we had all that sunshine, that strong mid-November sun helping the cause as we melted that stuff down. And now we look for maybe another coating of at least snow, not necessarily the ice, though, this time around. I don't think we're going to see anything like that uh, for the foreseeable future. But 30 degrees right now in Rochester, Austin 28. That's 27 in Mason City, Cresco 32 as we uh, look at a uh, light breeze and uh, clear skies outside. Feels like 24 here in Rochester, only a six mile per hour wind. Winds will turn more to the northwest heading into the afternoon. Not, a, not necessarily a, a breezy day, but definitely more of a bite to that northwest breeze as temperatures actually fall off a little bit. We'll reach the mid and upper 30s midday as this front approaches. Behind that, as snow develops, temperatures actually begin to slide down the scale a bit. But future track as we look at high risk computer modeling. That snow coming in from the west. Dry through the morning hours. We get to about lunchtime. A couple of sprinkles develop around Mesa City, Albert Lee. Maybe a spot of a drizzle or two. Temperatures, though, in the mid 30s. And then by around noon to 1 or 2 o'clock, rain transitions quickly to, to mainly snow. With the possibility of snow going on until about 5 o'clock this evening before that then moves out and skies clear pretty quickly behind that. So rain and snow showers today, but mostly a snow event by around 1 or 2 o'clock uh, for the heart of the area. Then cold sunshine for Friday and a chance of mainly rain uh, headed our way for Saturday afternoon. 27th of that morning commute this morning. Clear skies and a light breeze as we uh, await the arrival of that cloud cover and eventually the snow. There it is early afternoon. Winds turning more to the northwest. 37 the midday high temperatures. Temperatures then begin to take a tumble behind that front. Winds pick up just a little bit. 12 to 13 miles per hour with snow continuing into the uh, mid afternoon and late afternoon hours. Temperatures dropping below freezing by sunset and then the 20s this evening. Teens overnight into tomorrow morning, one of the coldest nights of the season so far. Uh, we will at least have a decent recovery later tomorrow with the help of some sunshine. But we have that band of snow coming in for the early afternoon hours today, ending around 5 o'clock. Skies clear after about 5. We'll have a chilly night. Uh, teens overnight. Tomorrow, south winds uh, on the light side, though. Plenty of sunshine for Friday. Look for high temperatures in the mid upper 30s, so not as warm as the seasonal average, but at least a nice recovery from about 17 degrees first thing in the morning. And heading into Saturday, cloud cover begins to roll in for the northwest will have a chance of rain in the afternoon hours and evening hours on Saturday with highs in the 40s. Snow totals uh, today in our area anywhere from about a quarter inch to maybe half three quarters of an inch. So generally less than an inch, maybe a little more to our west and northwest out of that band as it comes in. But there'll be a chance of snow again for the early mid part of the afternoon. And then on Saturday, a chance of light rain. Again, mainly in the afternoon, but otherwise not much in the way of precipitation in the next week. Temperatures overall next several days uh, very close to the seasonal average, 30s to mid 40s, but nothing uh, abnormal at all, really. Uh, increasing cloud cover snow this afternoon as much as an inch in a few spots. 37 in Rochester, 40 in Mason City with mostly cloudy skies and winds turning to the northwest up to 15 miles per hour. Thir 17 tonight, the overnight low with a lighter breeze, clear skies, seven day forecast, a little bit of afternoon rain on Saturday and and cool sunshine through next week. Kind of a great A10. Let's say it's going to be a great pretty quickly.